Hello all, in this video we are going to see about ESP Rainmaker platform. We will see brief introduction to ESP Rainmaker, its features, and potential applications. Then subsequently in practical session, like we always do, we will see a DIY project about how we can use ESP Rainmaker with ESP32 development boards to create an AIoT means artificial intelligence of things application. So, without any further delays, let's get started. So, what is ESP Rainmaker? ESP Rainmaker is an end-to-end -end platform developed by Espressive Systems to simplify the process of creating and deploying Internet of Things (IoT) applications specifically designed for their ESP32 microcontrollers. It allows developers to quickly connect their ESP32 devices to the cloud and control them remotely using mobile apps or other services. So, in a nutshell, ESP Rainmaker is a platform to develop IoT applications. You can see this diagram which shows typical structure of Rainmaker deployment. We will study this in detail. Before that, let's dive deeper by going to website of Espressive Systems. Here is that link, rainmaker.espressive.com. You can see, here you will find all detailed information about this IoT platform. As they said here, ESP Rainmaker is a complete, yet lightweight, AIoT solution that enables private cloud deployment for your business in a simple, cost-effective and efficient manner. Here in picture, they have shown functional block diagram of typical Rainmaker deployment. Then down here, they have shown as ESP Rainmaker is powered by AWS, so it can be fully integrated into the AWS serverless architecture, which allows customers to build, develop, and deploy customized AIoT solutions with a minimum amount of code and maximum security. You can see this cloud backend stack, where you will find typical IoT application features like MQTT broker, webhooks, OAuth2 connectors, API layer, and push notifications. Smart IoT devices like washing machine, air conditioners are connected via multi-protocols or wireless technologies like thread and Wi-Fi. We can control it via voice assistant and monitor using admin dashboard or mobile apps. Then down here, they have given the standard offerings. Like said here, Espressif offers a complete solution that includes private deployment of IoT cloud, mobile apps, voice assistant skills, and product solution support. This allows customers to build their very own brand of an IoT business in as efficient, affordable, and speedy as possible way. The typical IoT things you can see as light bulb, plug, light strip, socket, dimmer, etc. On other hand, you also can opt for custom development. By leveraging ESP Rainmaker customers can develop their own IoT solutions with complete independence. Espressif's AIoT cloud software provides the most solid basis for your innovative solutions at a low cost and no risk. So, the treadmill, coffee machine, thermostat-like things, you can make them smarter. So, as there is firmware which facilitates the development of customers' own solution based on the ESP Rainmaker SDK. Then with private cloud, customers can now own and deploy a private cloud with full control of their business data. Availability of phone apps, ESP Rainmaker apps for iOS and Android are open source, offering a reference design and development guidance. And there is dashboard also to help customers manage device fleets with rich features. Then down here you can see the main features of ESP Rainmaker platform for end users as well as for OEM customers. Like user management, local and remote control, grouping, scheduling and triggers, scenes and automations, time series data and voice assistant integration. So, this is very feature-rich platform. Then next is, very important, ESP Rainmaker and Matter Compatibility. So, ESP Rainmaker allows the realization of a complete Matter ecosystem, which enables integrated device management for all Matter devices, remote control with greater accessibility to Matter devices. Then, device provisioning and control for Matter-compatible devices of different brands and categories. And with ESP0 code, Rainmaker plus Matter modules provide out-of-the-box, 
ready modules that are certified for Matter. You can check out Espresso Solution for Matter on this link. So you can see, there is end-to-end -end availability of hardware support for each component of MatterThread ecosystem. On the top of that, they also provide Espresso's SDK for Matter, which has been developed over the open source Matter SDK to provide a simplified API and the required tools for building Matter compatible devices with Espresso system on chips. We are going to see these all features and applications in our next video on Matter and Thread on ESP32. So, stay tuned. Let's get back to main page. After the Matter feature, there is also one interesting feature of ESP Rainmaker. That is ESP Insights. So, ESP Insights is a remote monitoring and diagnostics platform for in-field deployed devices. With ESP Insights, customers can receive information about crashes, unintended reboots, error and warning logs, and any other custom metric they wish to observe. So, the in-depth device information available remotely can reduce debug costs and time for issue resolution to a fraction of what it is. This detailed data can also benefit product managers on assessing product feature roadmap. ESP Insights allows developers to view stack backtraces and registered dumps for firmware running on devices. With rich information about issues, developers have a much shorter turnaround time for fixing issues. It also has powerful widgets. Then metrics. The ESP Insights agent supports recording and reporting metrics to the cloud. You can then view the timeline charts that plot how these metrics changed over a while. Widgets that provide developers with meaningful representations of devices' data, thereby helping them to quickly build robust software. So in a nutshell, ESP Insights allows developer to remotely monitor ESP devices and identify issues faster. ESP Rainmaker is very feature-rich platform. You can check out this ESP Rainmaker introduction video for more details about it. This video demonstrates how Espressif's ESP Rainmaker provides a complete, yet customizable, end-to-end -end solution to building AIoT products. With ESP Rainmaker, it should take you only a week to fully build your own AIoT solution. So you can go down here, to click this try now link or button. When you click on this you will be redirected to getting started guide for ESP Rainmaker for ESP32 development board. On this guide you will see information about how you can get started with ESP Rainmaker. So, they have given procedure to set up development environment using ESP IDF SDK, Rainmaker command line interface, Wi-Fi provisioning and control etc. Follow this guide to dive deeper into the development. But for the time being we will see the launchpad demo for the ESP Rainmaker on ESP32 dev board. For that let's go to this link. Just remember that this tool is not supported on Safari and Firefox browsers yet. Please try using another browser like Google Chrome. ESP Launchpad makes use of Web USB to communicate with the device. Currently Safari and Firefox browsers don't support it yet. So let's open it in Google Chrome. So this is a ESP Launchpad. As they said here, ESP Launchpad helps you to flash the selected firmware image onto your device. Let's read the note they have given here. So. Ensure you have connected your device to the serial USB port. Click on the connect button in the top menu option to connect to your USB attached device. Note, once you flash your device, any earlier firmware would be overwritten. So, once you click on this connect button, this pop-up appears, which will show you if any USB serial device connected to your computer or not. Let's connect our ESP32 development board which is ESP32 C3 Dev Kit M1. You can see this in this window. You can use any chipset from these ESP chipset family as they have shown here. Like ESP32, ESP32 S2 or ESP32 C3. So once you connect your ESP32 board, click on connect. You will see your device got listed here in this pop-up window. It will also show on which COM port it is connected. 
So, to connect this to our launchpad, select it like this and then click on connect button. Once connected, you will see here that, which device is connected, and its name will get listed here. If your device is not showing in web USB window, then check for your device, its driver and browser compatibility. Then next, here you can go to this DIY tab to erase flash if you want. Like this. It's better to start from scratch. Then go back to quick start tab again. And you can choose from some of ESP's pre-built, out-of-the-box examples to flash and play. So, here you can select application on this drop-down menu. Like fan, switch, temperature sensor, light, etc. We will first choose light application. With this we can control the onboard RGB LED of ESP32C3 dev kit. Then select the ESP chipset you have connected. In our case ESP32C3. And then click on this flash button to flash this application firmware onto your ESP32 board. Then new console like window will appear, like this and it will start flashing your board. When flashing a firmware is completed successfully you will get this pop-up which will tell you flashing a firmware is completed successfully. Click the reset device button on the console tab to reset your device with the new flashed firmware. Then to download the ESP Rainmaker app you can either search it in Play Store or App Store as per your smartphone platform. Or you can scan these QR codes. So, we have already installed ESP Rainmaker app on our smartphone. Just remember that you have to create an account for ESP Rainmaker. It is a simple step. You just need to get sign up with your email ID. Okay, now let's click here on done and then reset the device. As soon as you click on reset button, it will ask for confirmation. Then in console you will see log or verbose, ESP Rainmaker firmware will start running and you will be presented with the QR code like this. You can also use this link, copy it and paste it in browser to see it in detail. This is the QR code which you have scanned from your Rainmaker app to add your ESP32 device and Rainmaker app. Let's do that. Just follow along. Please note, you have to turn on your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and location services and allow any app permissions if asked for your smartphone. And then in next steps you also need to enter credentials of your Wi-Fi connection. This is called provisioning step. Once it gets completed successfully. Your ESP32 device with light application get added into Rainmaker mobile app. You can see that thing on Rainmaker app dashboard. Here, the light has got added. And now you can play it with it. Now you can change its properties such as power on off status, brightness, color hue and saturation. This is interesting, right?
Now let's add another ESP32 with temperature application. Just follow along. Okay, so you can see the second ESP32 board is now listed in Rainmaker app and it is showing temperature readings. So in this way like any other IoT app, you can add different things like sensors and actuators in Rainmaker platform and can monitor and control them remotely. But additionally, you can also add features like routines, automations and scenes. Like here for example, in automations, you can create automation to turn on the light for specific rise and temperature value. So, you can see here, we are adding automation named HiTemp. This will turn on the RGB LED of ESP32C3 and make its color to red whenever temperature of other ESP32 board goes above 27.5 degrees. Here is the result. You can see now, as soon as temperature goes above 27.5 degrees, LED on ESP32C3 turned red. Okay, so, in this way, we have seen, overview, features, specification and application of ESP Rainmaker. In future we will try to make more projects using this amazing platform. Stay tuned for more projects and tech updates. If you face any difficulty in replicating our DIY projects, feel free to ping us on Telegram or WhatsApp. You can also send us email at info at the rate make to explore.com. We would be happy to help. Thank you.